Hi, I'm Gareth Pronovost and I'm an Airtable and Zapier consultant. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some brand new tech that just came out from our friends over at OpenSide. Now, this tech is unlocking amazing new potential between the way that Airtable communicates with Zapier. And this means that we can build integrations that we couldn't have even dreamt of even a month ago. So in this video, we're going to be building one of these integrations. And uh, before we get into it, though, I do want to give you a brief warning that this is a bit more on the intermediate to advanced side. So if you are new to Zapier, I would definitely recommend experimenting a little bit with it on your own and checking out some of our more beginner videos. But uh, without further ado, let's jump on into it. All right, folks, as I mentioned in the intro, this is brand new tech. And the stuff that's really exciting about this is now for the first time, we are able to build zaps that trigger off of an updated record. Now, previously, uh, Airtable had only two types of triggers that worked with Zapier. And that was you could uh, capture a new record or a new record in a view. Now, of course, both of these don't work for updated records. So if you made any changes to those records, you couldn't just tell Zapier, hey, I made a change, I need you to, to run a new task or do something else. And that was a bit of a limitation, but now we've unlocked new potential thanks to our friends at OpenSide. So let's uh, take a look at a really easy table. Let's jump on in here. We have um, just, we're just tracking some orders as they link to customers. So each customer has an address. Um, and we're going to send them an email when we update information. So going back into our orders here, we're going to take a look. So we've got a delivery date here of 1028, and we are going to build this quick zap. Now, normally I build my zap from scratch, but because this is a more intermediate to advanced use case, I'm going to imagine or assume that you already know how to do this. So we have the ability of having this new trigger, and this is this is the tech right here that I was referring to. And you'll see that when we select the type of trigger, we have these new options. Now we're gonna, for the sake of this video, just focus on the updated record. We'll do the others in a future video. And uh, here's where we you know, establish that connection. And here we go to options. So the first, the beginning part here is we're selecting a base, we're selecting a table, we're selecting a view. That's normal stuff. But here we go, we're going to uh, check out how we're going to be uh, filtering, filtering by a view. Again, this is normal, but now we want to choose how we're going to tell Zapier that we just updated a record. Checkbox field is the easiest one. Feel free to experiment with the other types here if you're interested, but we're going to do a, an easy checkbox example for this video. And the checkbox field that we're looking at is the update field. So we're going to jump back into this. So on, when this box is checked, or any of these boxes, we want Zapier to pull all the information in this record, and that's what it's going to do. And the best part is it can do that over and over and over again for the same record. So uh, we want it to trigger when we check the box, or uncheck, in this case, when it's checked. And then we're going to, and this is optional, but we're going to even add the date and timestamp when this was last updated. And that's why we've built this last update field. This is so amazing because we can then just visually see when the last update ran and all of that stuff. And this is, this is pretty cool. So if we want to, we can only pull in individual fields. But for this video, uh, for this example, I want to pull all of them. So we're going to just keep this empty. And that's it. So let's go ahead and run a quick test on this and pull in a new record. So we're going to jump back into our base and we are going to update uh, Chuck Bartowski uh, delivery date. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so we're going to say see more samples and we're going to say get more samples. Let's jump on over here. Now you just see that, that the checkbox was just unchecked. That was per the uh, sample getting pulled and it updated with a new date timestamp here. Now if we jump in here, we can look at this record and see that it just pulled Chuck Bartowski uh, and all of the data that lives in there. So let's go ahead and continue. Now, the second step of our zap here, we're just going to send out a simple email to the email name that we pulled from the record. Of course, they're all mine. I don't want to send spam emails, uh, at least for the purpose of testing. And, uh, and so then it's going to come from, obviously, my email. Um, we're going to give it a, a, you know, your order update is the name. And we're just writing a silly, uh, simple email here. So, hey, Chuck. 
Uh, we just received an update on your order. On your order, the delivery date's been updated to the 29th. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and continue, and we're going to send this test. And let's scroll down here. Send the chat. Send the test to Gmail. And once that's done, we uh, can go ahead and take a look. And we just got a new email. Here it is. That's what we expected to see. All right, awesome. Okay, so. Let's jump into uh, the next part here. How does this look? Let's do it again. So we previously, again, we could not do this multiple times, but let's say that we just had an update to 1028. We moved his delivery date up a day. We want to let the customer know. Click that checkbox, run that zap again. So we're going to test for a new record. And of course, Zapier is going to do this automatically uh, on an interval. Um, you know, depending on, on your plan. And we'll see if we go back here now that box was unchecked. We have a new time. It just pulled the record again. So I'm going to take that new record and I'm going to continue. And I want to send out this email. So let's take a look. There it is. There's the updated uh, date time uh, of the delivery day. Of course, we can just go ahead and continue. Send this email again. And, uh, and of course, we'll receive that in our inbox in just a moment. And I mean, that's, it's so amazing to me that this uh, didn't exist previously and that now it does. I mean, the new potential that all of us have for the way that we can integrate Airtable with the other apps that we use to run our businesses, uh, it's, it's just taken on a whole new level. So uh, definitely play around with this and uh, do, do uh, reach out to OpenSide if you have any questions. I'll be, make, I'll be making sure to include a link to, uh, to this new tech as well. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be very helpful. I will include an affiliate link to this tech. So if you wanna get your hands on this and experiment with this new capability yourself, uh, definitely check that out. And also, if you have any uh, of your own Airtable and Zapier questions and you'd like to schedule a free consultation, I'll have a link to uh, my Calendly below. And as always, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.